today I want to talk a little bit about reflexology. The neat thing about reflexology is when I'm actually working with a client, I don't have to press on any sore spots like you do in massage or acupuncture, right? So if somebody comes in and they have a sore neck, I can actually work in the feet, hands, ear, or face in order to release the tension in the neck. And how does that work, really, when you think about it? Well, there's reflexes throughout our body, and the reflexes or the nerve endings actually are connected to different parts of the body. So when you know what part is holding the tension, you can work with the reflexes in order to be able to stimulate those areas in order to help the client relief. And the really cool part about it is what clients have to say after a session. So for example, it's common for somebody to come in and have stress in I mean, if they're an office worker, they might have stress in their wrists, they might have stress in their shoulders, they might have stress in their back, right? And being able to work in the tension in hands, ears, feet, or face, it's really cool to be able to watch that tension melt. And the only thing that a client actually has to do is lay in a chair that looks something like that right back there, and you just take your socks off. If you're getting a foot session, you don't even have to do that if you're working on your um, hands or facial reflexology or ears. The only thing is if you're having an ear session, you wanna make sure that your earrings are out before the treatment, right? If you have them. And so hope that gives you some insights into what goes on in a reflexology session. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll probably make a video on that. All right, sound good? Love to hear from you.